I'm the Humanoid Freak, and this is the Talking Pictures Review. Today will be Jackass Presents Bad Grandpa. Spoilers ahead, so don't get pissed off if you get spoiled. You should know by now. So, latest Jackass film, Johnny Knoxville dresses up as his grandpa character from one of his Jackass films back in the day. He makes a full-length picture out of it. Along with his little kid that's supposed to be his, uh, grandkid. I'm surprised that this movie actually has a storyline, because usually Jackass films don't have storylines. They just go from place to place doing stupid shit, but it's funny as hell. This one actually had a storyline. The story is, this kid needs to go back to his father because his mom got, goes back to jail. Off they go on to a road trip to get back to his father. And meanwhile along the way they get into a bunch of shenanigans. With real people's reaction because Johnny Knoxville does, does his... randomness. Funniest scene in this movie is when he tries to uh, send his grandkid through the mail in a box. It's funny because like the two people that work there are surprised that there's actually a kid in there and they're saying, you can't mail humans. That scene reminded me of something. What could it be? And mailed himself in a box, air freight, on a passenger airline from the East Coast to Texas. I don't know if you heard about this. It was funny as shit that he mailed himself. And bro, he was black, which made it funnier for some fucking reason. I don't know why, but I saw it and I couldn't stop thinking, nigga in a box. kind of fell flat like the uh, diarrhea on the wall at Denny's or wherever they went to eat. Male strip club scene, I didn't find that funny. I think he was just forcing laughter out of that one because it just seemed kind of weird. To me, it, it, it's funny, but kind of, kind of, it seemed like he was just trying to force that one on to people. He had going up to random strangers and asking them to be her, his daddy. It was funny quite a bit, because you can see how uncomfortable the guys were. One thing I like at the end, in the bloopers, or in the end credits, or whatever, is that they actually show the people that they're actually in a movie. Because I was wondering how they got away with certain things without getting his ass kicked in the entire movie. The little girl pageant thing, I have to say, these mothers are the most horrible people in the world forcing their kids to do this. Because, you know... They couldn't do it when they were younger and they're forcing their younger kids to do this. It's really sad seeing these little girls do this because they have no choice. But the weird thing about this is like, it's supposed to be comedic when he uh, does the whole cherry pie song thing. You know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to explain it. But here's my question. You gotta be careful with the pedophiles out there. They're gonna take that and just, I don't even want to think about it. But you know there's going to be pedophiles out there watching this, getting their juices on. Come on, you gotta admit it, there will be pedophiles out there enjoying that shit. One part that made me laugh my ass off was like the juggalo in the background. When he's talking to uh, the father on Skype, on the computer, I think it's Skype. Or whatever, he's talking to him on the computer and he's like talking and then in the background you see some juggalo sitting there for no reason and fucking up his shit. I swear I couldn't stop laughing when I saw that. A random juggalo was just hilarious, is what I gotta say. Also, the people's reaction when they have to go pick up the dead grandmother and put him in the trunk of a car. Their reaction was priceless, especially the black guy, because you know he didn't want to be there. Because he goes like, oh shit, I'm gonna go to jail. Oh, for all in all, that grandpa, I gotta say, is in the middle there. Decent storytelling. Cut, some jokes are forced. But it's Johnny Knoxville, what can you do? There's not much you can do with Bad Grandpa, with people's reaction. Well, there's a lot more you can do, but he didn't do much. Yes, he did a lot, but I'm saying within the... Fuck it, whatever, I'm rambling on. Anyway, that's it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak out.